The Health Ministry will update the Infectious Diseases Act, or IDA, to allow for more flexibility in handling scenarios during an outbreak. Now, the change will introduce new tiers to replace the current DOSCON colour codes. The amended IDA will have three levels of response for public health situations. Outbreak management will have measures implemented quickly to handle outbreaks, such as contact tracing and masking. Public health threat will call for long-term or longer-term control measures similar to the circuit breaker. And public health emergency will have stringent measures such as curfews and orders to tap public health assets and manpower. Current measures under the IDA allow the ministry to act in various ways in the interest of public health, including control movements and limit gatherings of people in serious cases. Now, the health minister Ongi Kang warns that the change in warning systems alone will not deter events such as panic buying. But he says plainly telling the public there is an outbreak threat or an emergency will make it easier for people to understand and take the necessary actions. Whether a people panic during a crisis depends a lot on the information they are getting and whether they know what to do to protect themselves and then contribute towards societal resilience. I believe that with the experience of SARS, H1N1 and now COVID-19, the government knows much better what measures are necessary and appropriate and the people of Singapore understand much better what to do during a pandemic crisis. With that, there's a lower chance of having a panic.